Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at scatter graphs and correlation. So, a scatter graph is a way of displaying data. Here we have a survey results uh, where a survey asked how long they studied uh, for a maths test and the score they achieved on this maths test. Where the time is measured in hours and the score is measured in percent. I've drawn a scatter graph here. Uh, and it's got time across the bottom and the score across the y-axis. You always have to label your uh, x and y-axis with the um, scale and also what you are measuring. And it says the first one is 0 0.5 and 23. So it goes 0 0.5 hours across and 23 up. And we put a cross there. Next one is 230. Next one is 1.5, 28, 460. 680, 882, 8.5, 8 and 85, 9 and 96. I've carefully plotted those points um, from the table onto my graph um, accurately. When you join this in the exam, you would use a pencil and then you would also use a ruler to draw a line of best fit. We're trying to draw a line of best fit now. And the line of best fit is a line that best represents the trend of the data, the pattern of the data. This ruler is too slanty. Um, it's not following the exact same direction of the data. Whereas here, this ruler is following the direction of the data, but it's a bit too low. We're going to shift it up a bit. And now we've got the ruler in the perfect place. I'm going to draw a line with our pencil. That is a line of best fit. It perfectly represents the trend of the data. In general, it should have the same number of dots above and below the ruler to be balanced. We can conclude from this line that the more time you spend studying for a mass test, the higher scores will be. Because as you see, the, as the time goes up, the scores also go up. The trend in the data is going up. Now, let's talk about correlation. Correlation is how we describe the pattern of the data. Here, on this uh, scatter graph, we can see the points are roughly going up. There is one data point that's out of place. This is what we call an outlier. It's a long way from the rest of the points, and it seems to break the pattern. We say it's an outlier. Now this one, this has no correlation. There is no pattern to this data, it's just random points. And then we've also got negative correlation here, where the data appears to be going downwards. We have positive correlation, no correlation, and negative correlation. We can also describe the strength of the correlation. So, we can have really strong correlation where all the points fit the trends closely. It fits the pattern really well. Or we can have strong negative correlation where, again, the data is going down, but here, the points are really close together. They fit the pattern really, really strongly. Moderate correlation is where it's still following a pattern quite well, but the points are a bit further spread apart. And then weak correlation is where the points are really spread apart, but it does still kind of fit a pattern. Uh, so it's, we would call it weak positive correlation on weak negative correlation. So uh, to sum up, We've got weak positive correlation, strong positive correlation, no correlation, weak negative correlation, and strong negative correlation. In this test, you should be able to describe these correlations and using the words strong, weak, positive, or negative, or no correlation. That's everything from today from Advanced Maths. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you're in GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos will be coming soon very, very quickly. You can also check out advancedmaths.com for more revision resources all for free.